the woman awakens from stupor to find herself on a curved surface. She retracts her dangling foot in terror, but the movement is too great, causing her to start slipping. Luckily, Susan held herself against the wall so she didn't fall. She looked around and realized that she was surrounded by a slope and an abyss beneath her feet. With an exit just out of reach above her head, Susan calmed her breathing, began to move, trying to pull her feet up from underneath her, but the excessive movement caused her to slip more. A glance at her palms showed that they were already covered in blood, but Susan had no choice but to endure the pain and brace herself against the wall again, retracting her right foot and stepping on the ground as she began to slowly move upwards. At this moment, Susan suddenly noticed the bloody handprints on the opposite side. She knew that someone else had been in the same desperate situation as her before. Now the most important thing is to survive. Susan used her clothes to dry up the blood stains, blew on her palms to ease the pain, then gritted her teeth and continued to move up. But at this moment, the sky resounded with thunder. The rain accompanied by Susan's teardrops slipped down, 